Shame, Shame that, that tune. tune! Well, let's say we bring up our third and final contestant on tonight's Shame That Tune. Give a near Goose Island welcome to Adora Wilson I. Seacrest, thank you, thank you. Okay, Adora, you have three minutes to shame that tune on your mark. Get set. Shame. All right. Hi, everyone. Um, okay, so this story takes place when I was about 20. Um, I was working at a restaurant that was on Chicago Avenue, and it was West Fest. And all weekend, I was making eyes with this really cute Irish guy that was working at this uh, stand across the street. And the last day, I got out of work early. I had been drinking. You know, we happened to leave the fest at the same time. And he looked at me, and I looked at him, and he was like, hey, uh, you live around here? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, can I walk you? Can I walk you home? And I was like, yeah, of course. So he walks me home. One thing leads to another. Um, yada, yada. We're lying in bed later. <laughs> and, <laughs> and he looks over, and for some reason, I had had an old vibrator flying out. And, <laughs> and he looks at this vibrator, and he goes, hey, you want to use that in front of me? And I was like, um. You know, and he's trying to be all sexy, and I'm not picking up on this because I'm, I'm, I don't pick up on things like that. So I was like, actually, no. I learned recently that uh, this kind of vibrator, the, the plastic, leaches poisons and makes your genitals burn. So no, I don't use it anymore. And uh, and he's like, oh, okay. Well, uh, can I have it? I've seen your wiener, I, but I don't know you. So, absolutely not. You can't. And uh, so, you know, we hang out a little longer, and I'm like, all right, I'll walk you to the bus stop, because I'm nice. And so I escorted him to the bus stop, you know, and I'm like, yeah, see you never, whatever. Go back home. I'm like reflecting on this evening of mediocre <laughs> evening and um and I look around my room I walk in my room and immediately I like sensed it it was like a spider sense I was like where's my vibrator <laughs> where's my vibrator and I'm like digging through everything and I was like no it was it was out there and that you know you can't miss that shit it was I know I don't use it but I know it was there, and then it wasn't. The motherfucker stole my vibrator. That's not even the end of the story. So, you know, I like text him, I'm like, you, you know what, I'm not even mad. Cause now I have a story. But that, a couple months later, I'm at this party. I should mention, I don't know if I said this, this guy was Irish. And um, so a couple months later, somehow I end up at this party with a bunch of Irish kids and um, you know I, I'm just hanging out and somebody says my name like pretty loudly and all these kids turn their heads and they're like wait you're you're Adora that's your name wait oh my god you're Adora you're the Adora you did someone recently and then it gets really quiet this one chick is like did someone recently and I was like I know what you're gonna say I know what you're gonna say, and you can tell that guy to go fuck himself because he stole my personal property. And all, and I'm like, we're all drunk, and his whole group of friends just lose their shit. They are like, oh my god, and they start like saying mean. He's not there. But they're saying all these like mean things about him, like, oh, you know, you know, he was a virgin when you slept with him, and they're like egging me on. So I'm like, oh, well, then no wonder he. 
he was so bad in bed, and they're like, oh, shit, they're like, and they're, and you know, I'm just feeding off of it, so I keep going, I'm like, yeah, and you know, he had a really tiny dick, and they're like, oh, shit, you know, he walked into our hostel, and he held up your vibrator, and he licked it in front of everyone, and I was just like, set me off. I was just ripping into this guy, not even telling the truth at this point. I'm just like, they're loving it, and I'm loving that they're loving it, so we're just kind of like feeding off of each other, and there's this one chick sitting in the back, and she is getting pissed. She is getting so mad at me, and she comes up to me, and she's like, who did you come here with? And I was like, I don't know, some guy I work with, who cares, whatever. And she's like, well, I don't appreciate people talking shit about my friends in my place. And I was like, well, lady, listen, you need to get some better friends because clearly, uh, or you need to actually find someone better to obviously have a secret crush on because this guy stole my personal property and he was really creepy about it in front of a bunch of people. She got so mad at me that she ended up kicking me out of this party and that's actually the end of my story. Okay. <laughs> Adora Wilson, hi, everybody.